Welcome everyone, welcome and thank you so much for being with me on this journey. I am Diana Popa, business coach, and I would like to thank you for subscribing to our channel. Today, our special guest is Pankash Kumar Rai, international trainer, motivational speaker, writer, and psychologist. Welcome, Pankash. Thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you. Thank you so much. I would like to ask you straight away our first question in this interview. If you can tell us more about your story and how you start on this journey. I know that you have a lot of experience, that you are a speaker internationally. How did you start on this path? Sure. Actually, it starts from you know, knowing yourself, what you are exactly. We, we, everybody know we are not only the you know, body, we are not only the mind, but we are something beyond body and mind. So what exactly, uh, what is the source of your energy? Uh, how this thought process generated? What is human psychology? What is human behavior? How these thought impacts on your personality? How these thoughts impact on your psychology? What makes you negative? What makes you positive? How you can increase your energy? How you can change, change your feelings? and how this mind impacts your body and how this mind-body connections and what is beyond mind and body. So there are, you know, n numbers of questions when you start digging, when you're trying to know all these questions about life, what is life, what is purpose, what is my role, who am I, all those questions when you start trying to find out these questions, here journey starts. Here I try to know, you know, what is uh, basically the mind, what is conscious mind, what is subconscious mind, what is unconscious mind, how they functions, how they triggers, how we can regulate our mind, how we can make our mind in a slave mode, how we cannot be controlled by our own mind. So this is all part of, you know, one side of psychology. But once you go beyond mind, which we call low mind state, which we call meditations, which we call when you become thoughtless, which you call you when you become silent so once you become silent you start knowing exactly what you are when you start watching yourself when you start observing yourself when you try to understand the inner psychology so journey started from these questions when you when, when you start working on those questions when you start working on different type of techniques meditation techniques then you understand exactly what is psychology what is inner psychic and it really helps uh, to know what exactly you are and once you know what exactly you are and you know your inner psychology then only you can help others because whatsoever we preach whatsoever we teach if you are not living so that is simply part of knowledge it doesn't become part of your experience so transforming your knowledge into part of experience and then uh, sharing with other people, then only we can help us. So I'm doing this thing since last 20 years and it's been a great journey. I'm so happy that uh, uh, these techniques has helped, helped me a lot in learning and uh, sharing all those things as far as mindfulness is concerned. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pankaj. Thank you for sharing this with us. And I fully agree with you that actually we have to leave it. And I am still doing it. I am still learning and um, trying is like a, a sort of trial and error all the time in my, um, in my journey. And what I would like to ask you is, um, what would you advise people to do when they start this journey of personal development and they see that actually they don't grow fast enough or maybe they realize that uh, it's a struggle or maybe they were expecting something else what would you advise them yeah great question first we we should try to know uh, what is our nature what is my nature uh, what sort of nature i carry whether i am you know active proactive aggressive silent I'm a loving personality. So we should try to find out our nature first thing. Second, uh, so many times it happens, we may go on wrong path and which uh, will become very difficult. Uh, you know, uh, so many people get disturbed uh, to knowing this journey. So first you should know what is your nature, then you should, you should be consistent. You should try to test on yourself. Suppose if I'm saying meditation is good. Okay, so once you do meditation, how you feel, that is important once you uh, you know uh, regulate your breath how do you feel that is important you should continuously ask questions whatever you are doing is it good for you 
or bad for you you are upgrading yourself or degrading yourself you are feeling calm cool comfortable or you are getting aggressive frustrated irritated we need to check it with our own and that's the best way which we call classical conditioning of mind you you one should simply uh, write on the paper what you want to be and big with a big question mark so keeps on asking questions first you try to know your nature second keeps on asking question whatever methodology whatever spirituality whatever religion you are going with you should keeps on checking yourself whether you are on a right path or on a wrong path whether you are experience good things or bad things and third and most important thing there is uh, there is uh, this is all beyond you know time and space so we should not be in hurry we should try to walk slow to reach fast walk slow to reach fast because whenever we do hurry we commit a lot of mistakes so there is nothing to do hurry uh, you need to uh, relax you need to silent you need to be consistent and the most important thing you have to be little bit mindful little bit aware about yourself and once you'll be aware about yourself when i say you have to be aware it means you have to be aware about your body you have to be aware about your thoughts you have to be aware about your actions you have to be aware about your emotions you have to observe yourself as a neutral being so once this observation increases uh, definitely this journey uh, boosts and uh, you you get the experience of being silent thank you so much pankaj it's very inspiring and i love that a lot what you mentioned that uh, we need to slow down and we need to uh, walk uh, slow to reach fast yeah. i love that yeah. i love that so much and i believe that this fully applies to me and um, i believe especially in the corporate world that this is uh, what's happening is that we are constantly trying to reach something faster and faster we are changing things we are all the time in a running pace and we don't have even we don't have time to slow down or to stop and i remember from my own experience that at some point i uh, joined a training on uh, how to uh, slow down and how to be more in the mindfulness and really to be well with myself and i was stressed during the training because i knew all the tasks were going to accumulate in the background because i don't do them how do you think that we can solve this actually in the corporate world to slow down and to have this space of just being with ourselves having time for ourselves and finding what is very very famous this life work balance great straight questions so many times we think that <clears throat> there are two things one is monotasking and other is multitasking <clears throat> so uh, whenever you do multitasking your energy is divided in multiple works simultaneously and you cannot focus or concentrate on a single thing when you are doing multitasking because we are live human beings we are not machines we are not robots we are not processors who are doing multitasking multi threading process so <clears throat> to slow down rather than from multitasking we need to shift to monotasking It means one task at a time one job at a time suppose right now you are talking to me right now you are talking to me so we are engaged only one task that is we are listening to each other listening and speaking so if you are totally involved in listening then you can listen 100% and you can exactly understand what is being said not what is being interpreted by you <clears throat> listening total listening suppose we are dancing so we should be involved in total dancing suppose we are driving we should be involved in a totally in the driving suppose i am writing we should be involved in a totally in writing suppose i am reading we should be involved in totally in reading and that single task that monotasking when you become total with a particular task you involved with it totally involved with it and that involvement gives you efficiency that give, involvement gives you totality and your intelligence and creativity also increases which is the need of the hour for the corporate world so we need to slow down why to understand the sensitivity of our senses to increase the input so that we can become more efficient we can interpret the things more fastly we can be more creative 
so slow down does not mean that you simply sit idly slow down means your involvement your totality with whatever you are doing in the moment that should try to be 100% and that slow downness that totality that monotasking improves your performance maybe if you talk about interpersonal communication or if you talk about uh, you know uh, you are reading something or if you are creating something so uh, the same happens with einstein and so many scientists the moment they get involved with their work they forget about what is the time they they spend together hours together if you talk about picasso when he started painting he spent hours together in the painting totally involved so a dancer does not dance on the stage when he is involved he become the dance itself a painter does not paint he become the painting itself a scientist does not invent he become the inventor itself totality and that slowness gives you perfection that slowness gives better result that slowness helps you to boost your intelligence creativity and innovation and the most advantage things it keeps your mind calm so um, you you can give your best thank you so much thank you so much pankaj because i really i feel like i am not doing it at all is like <laughs> i am doing the opposite and i am definitely learning from you and i am sure that also our audience is learning from you and this is actually i would say rather controversial uh if i can call it like that in the sense that i know that we are always thought that we have to um actually multitask in order to become a leader for example in an organization we need to be able to multitask and to do everything at the same time because we are bombarded by information by uh, by things to do by team by uh, deadlines and actually this goes in the opposite direction would you say that um, this is up to each individual to put in place a sort of structure for themselves to actually do this this monotasking or do you think that it's up also to the organization to create such an environment which encourages the monotasking yes wonderful environment obviously affect because we are living in a competitive world so um, if industry really wants that uh, creative people if industry re- really want efficient people if re- industry really want intellectual people so because creativity is the need of the hour nobody likes the old and rotten things everybody wants something newness in the life and you know if you want to do something creative if you want to do something new you have to be totally available na? then only you will you will be uh, in a position to do something which has never been done either you will simply copy or you will do something new so that environment is needed where we should give proper space personal space to the people so that uh, they can really involve and understand the you know real issues and challenges of the industry so technology or the people and uh, they will put their hearts and souls not only for the organizations but for self satisfaction also because if you are involved in using mobile phone if you are involved in a meeting if you are involved in a n number of task that multitasking is somehow going to increase stress level it is going to increase your blood pressure it is going to increase your sugar level somehow it is uh, deteriorating your health conditions also you will not enjoy your work you would be like as you know uh, it it would be become an obsession for you you want to enjoy and if you don't enjoy what the uh, what whatever you are doing if you are not in living your passion as part of profession you can never uh, result uh, you can never uh, perform up to your efficacy and efficiency so i'm not saying uh, as part of some theoretical knowledge i'm saying as part of my own experience monotasking is really needed rather than multitasking uh, we can take some few examples suppose you are eating food you are taking your food and while taking your food suppose you are using mobile phone also you are watching television also you are having a number of thoughts in your mind also and you are uh, you know shouting on someone else also you are having lot of you know aggression frustration also while eating food 
you might have known the very famous experiment has been done by pavlov what he has done he has he has kept hungry a cat for 5 days no food for 5 days and the moment he has given food to that particular cat the amount of secretion of saliva which help us to mix with the food to digest it was very good second time what he has done the same cat kept hungry for 5 days given the food but dangerous dog was there in front of her so what happened the cat got stressed tensed and you won't believe the amount of secretion of saliva got reduced by 70% how much 70% what does it mean if you are eating food and with a lot of stress uh, your energy is divided you are not involved in eating the food it is not going to digest properly you want to enjoy it this is you know simple example of monotasking and multitasking <laughs> i love that thank you so much pankaj and i love the story part because this also makes me uh, relate and really understand what's happening behind and uh, actually i was uh, aware in the last uh, more or less 2 years when i was doing many things at the same time like uh, watching a training or a seminar at the same time working because someone else was uh, asking something from me and uh, after the training i felt this i don't know there was something inside i didn't feel comfortable i was stressed i was feeling like there is a lot of information and probably this is where it's coming from from the multitasking thank you so much for sharing that with us do you think that uh, slowing down and uh, being uh, in this um, mindset that uh, we don't have to rush all the time and that we can take time for ourselves can actually improve our motivation our uh, motivation to uh, pursue our dreams and to pursue our passions yeah uh first we need to understand exactly what is motivation what is motivation uh let us take an example you might have seen a river a river who is flowing hmm? its water always remain fresh but if you see the water of a pond if it is not in movement it starts smelling stinking sinking hmm? what does it mean if you are continuously moving on in your life with awareness that is motivation if you are moving on with the challenges if you are moving on with the situations with self awareness self awareness is needed so if you are moving on in your life with a self awareness that is the motivation and once you become self aware aware means you should know what exactly you are doing in this moment and if you know that what you are exactly you are doing in this moment then you will not do something which is negative something which is harmful so many time it happens people get angry and the moment they get angry they become unconscious you are not fully aware once you get angry or <laughs> with full with, with full self awareness you you cannot get angry if you are totally self aware you cannot get angry so the important thing is how much self aware we are and once you become self aware you won't do anything which would be harmful for you you will not do something negative for you you will love everybody as part of humanity you will spread compassion towards it because you you find it um, you know as part of psychology and psychiatry so all those people have done murders and rapes they have done you know some sort of you know insomnia and some sort of unconsciousness so if we if we really want a world with peace compassion joy happiness togetherness then we need to motivate the people that they should become self aware i have thousands of examples on self awareness increases all the negative habits and addictions they automatically goes away from your personality because you know what you are doing in this moment i know it's not so easy but it can be practiced with mindfulness it can be practiced with meditation it can be practiced with love joy and compassion so a leader has to be self aware then only he can lead his team he can understand his own people i can understand you that you are listening so compassionately with your body language with your eyes with your reflections and to know that i need to be silent i need to be self aware then only i can understand my own people and if you don't understand your own people how you can lead them how you can connect to them 
how you can motivate them if you yourself is not motivated how you can motivate others because you can give others only what you have you can not give others you can not give others what you don't have if you yourself is negative how you expect from others to be positive so first we have to lead by examples we have to set those things which we talk about for others we we have to live it we have to uh you know experience it then only you can motivate if i am not motivated i cannot motivate others absolutely i fully agree with you thank you so much for sharing that with us and for giving us all these examples because this makes us reflect and also relate what's happening to us i would like to ask you if you think that um, this self awareness you were talking about can actually be achieved by everyone and how do we do that you mentioned a few techniques like meditation is there something else that we can do to actually catch our thoughts when they are coming to really realize is this a positive one is this a negative one and why it's happening how can we do that great wonderful question when we talk about self awareness self awareness means how much i am aware about myself suppose right now i am talking to you in this very moment in addition to talking to you if i am doing uh, so many other things i am distracted it means my mind is not focused so i started me i said i am not only the mind i am not only the body i am in the body and something is there which is conscious conscious which is conscious which is observing all those things so either you can be conscious or you can be unconscious its quality and quantity can be varied from situation to situation so right now if i am fully conscious that consciousness will lead to self awareness now your question is how to be conscious how to be self aware when we talk about meditation when we talk about mindfulness when we talk about mindfulness can i share a picture with you Yes, yes, I think you you are able to share. If okay. not, let me know. Okay. I'll I'll just share one picture with you. Thank okay. you. So, uh, you can see these two girls, they are, you know, roaming in a garden. One is mindful, another is full of mind. physically she is in the garden but mentally somewhere else this is what happens with most of us this is what happens we are not mentally present where exactly our body is and you know to shift your mind from this you know full of mind to mindful or you asked how you can watch this thought as negative and positive first thing which which i i told you is we need to slow down so when you become slow down you don't need to behave in a robotic manner you be a little bit life second we need to change our patterns suppose i am a right handy okay so my left brain is more active if i am a left handy my right brain is more active the situation is quite opposite so i am brushing my teeth since so many years with right hand now it's time to change i should switch from right hand to left hand so this change in pattern this change in pattern this change in habits this change in mechanical process this change in robotics helps me to become self aware it helps to shift from being full of mind to mindful because you can also experiment don't believe what i'm saying don't believe what i'm saying experiment it with yourself the moment if you are a right hand and brush your teeth with left hand it's not easy for you it's difficult because you are doing something different you are doing something new so this is a simple technique to be self aware another very simple technique we all breathe i think this picture is clear to you uh, now we can remove it our mind and body are connected through breath how we breathe how we breathe so so many time you might have observed when you are stressed tense your breathing increases you take fast breathing 
normally uh, a normal human being takes 7 to 18 times of breathing that is average frequency of our breathing if you get stressed tensed or if you are not self aware sometime it increases we have to do just opposite to that we have to slow down our breath thank you so much pankaj and thank you for the example and for the picture because this uh, really relates to me and it shows me exactly what i am doing <laughs> and i believe so many of us are doing it as you mentioned that even if we yeah. take a break and we go in nature we are still actually in another place and this needs to be re- rectified thank you so much for being today with us and for sharing your wisdom with the world i am appreciative and i am honored to have you here and i would like to close our interview today by asking you who are you serving and how can people contact you yeah most probably uh, especially in india and uh, almost uh, so many part of asian and the commonwealth countries uh, we i'm consulting people uh, online and offline a lot of people are there who are suffering from so many mental diseases stress anxiety fear obsession insomnia hypermetromania and just because of that mental stress because since last 2 to 3 years people uh, suffered a huge pandemic situations and lot of negative thoughts you know almost blocked their mind so uh, as a counselor as a motivational speaker as a you know mindfulness coach i talk to the people um, in one to one as well as in the groups and we, i teach them uh, uh, like as i told you some basic techniques how to stop the chaos of your mind how to stop chattering of your mind how to uh, relax your mind because the moment your mind become relax it reflects in body and mental hygiene and mental health is very much important if you want to live a stay healthy life so uh, it's not about money uh, it's about humanity uh i'm doing a lot of uh, sessions free of cost because the people who are suffering from poverty and they cannot pay so we i'm counseling them free of cost without taking any charges but the yes of obviously corporates and people who can pay so we can obviously share and uh, it's very nice and it's very great uh, to connect with you diana uh, i think i pronounce yeah. it correct <laughs> yes so thank you so much that. will be in touch and will will deliver we can deliver a lot of customized training and customized online counseling programs which exactly help people uh, from the root cause of this issue uh, related to anything which is not only mind but in body also as well as how we can keep people stay motivated creative intelligent and optimistic i love that thank you so much pankaj and how can people contact you if they want to work with you uh yeah, they can contact on my website also and i'll share you uh, with my uh, personal whatsapp and contact mobile number also so uh, you can share it on the screen so they can directly contact to me and you can also contact to me for uh, any sort of collaboration can you just say it for us uh, for those who are listening to our podcast yeah um we can say that uh, good better best never let it rest till your good become better and better become best stay motivated keeps on moving don't stop don't stop believing in yourself but be a good observer of yourself to become self aware and once you will become self aware every bit of your moment would be heaven every bit of moment you will you will be in a position to enjoy each and every moment of your life Thank you so much Pankaj. Thank you once again for being with me today. I would like to really thank you for inspiring the world and for being there for them because I believe so many of them and including myself we need help to really push forward and transform our lives. Thank you once again. Thank you so much. Thank you. And for those of you listening to us stay connected because there is so much more to come.